Hello and welcome back to HB channel. This video today is focused in educated the audience about Tibetan Mastiff. We will explain about general feature, physical characteristic of the breed, comparison between modern breed and archaic Tibetan dog, which classified as Tibetan Mastiff, but in fact are not Mastiff. Before I start, I will be pleased if you guys support by subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell. The oldest film about mountain dog of Tibet date back in 1938-1939 by a German expedition. Dog in this clip are archaic shepherd. They present different anatomy compared with the Expo Tibetan Mastiff. They are long haired dog, but not woolly. Their body is dry. Modern Mastiff feature in those dog are not present. The name Tibetan Mastiff is a misnomer, as the breed is not a true Mastiff. The term Mastiff was assigned by Europeans who first came in Tibet because the name was used to refer to nearly all large dog breed in the West. The most accurate name for those dogs are Tibetan Mountain Dog. To encompass the land race breed, its range of Himalaya Mountain Dog. Those dogs can be found with different names in a different location. Local people in China call them Doku. In Mongolia you can find those dogs with the name Bakar. In the Nepal people call them Bot Kukur. In Kashmiri they call Gadi. They are large breed. They have a double coat. It's medium to long, subject of the climb and found with a wide variety of the color, including solid black, black and tan, various shade or red. White color is present, but it is very rare. Some of them present a white marking around neck, chest and legs. Tibetan Mastiff is considered primitive breed. It typically retains the hardiness, which would be required to survive in Tibet, Mongolia, and in another high altitude Himalaya range. Tibetan mountain dog have instinctive behaviors, including cunning pack behavior, contribute to the survival of the breed in the harsh environment. It is one of the few primitive dog breeds that retains a single estrus per year. Most of the dog have two or three estrus in a year. This characteristic is also found in the wild canine, such as wolf and other wild animals. The estrus cycle usually takes place in the end of the autumn. Most Tibetan puppy are born between December and January. Tibetan mountain dog are flock guardian dog usually used for livestock tactic to warm away predator and to avoid direct confrontation usually livestock guardian breed they are intelligent and stumble this is the same with tibetan mastiff or tibetan mountain dog they are big and powerful with a powerful body in tibetan culture those dog was used by the monks to protect from the bear and snow leopard. They are excellent guardian dog. The Tibetan Mastiff was able to adapt to the extreme highland condition of Tibet Plateau very quickly compared to other mammals such as yak, Tibetan antelope, snow leopard and the wild boar. The Tibetan mountain dog had the ability to avoid hypoxia in the high altitude due to its higher hemoglobin level compared to the level altitude dog. 
This adaptation is a contribute due to the prehistoric interbreed with a wolf-like on it. The DNA evidence tells us that mountain tape dog originated in Tibet around 5,000 years ago. The Tibetan mountain dog is no doubt the descendant of livestock guardian dog which we have present today. The primitive Tibetan mountain dog developed into two tapes. One tape, call it Doki, who lived in the village and traveled with nomadic shepherd and functioned as livestock guardian dog. And the larger tape, Sangri, which were often given to the Lama Suris, where they serve as a guardian for the Tibetan Buddhist monk. The native mountain dog of Tibet can live 12 to 15 years old, sometimes even 20. The size of mountain dog of Tibet. For the male, we have a 65 to 76 centimeter. And for female, they can be 61 to 72 centimeter. Bigger exemplar are also seen. Male can weigh 40 to 68 kg and female to 35 to 55 kg. The mountain dog of Tibet are stubborn, tenacious, aloof, intelligent, strong-willed and protect. They show the amazing skill to combat against wolf, bear and snow leopard. Now it's time to learn a difference between native mountain dog of Tibet and fabricating Tibetan Mastiff, which is a show dog, a pet, not a livestock guardian dog. This was all for today, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, and see you in the next content.